Here's a short video on how to install your SIM card on your CradlePoint IBR600 router. Um, there's several routers that are like this, basically the same on all of them, but this is an IBR600 CradlePoint. What we have here is a, a small door. You need a small screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, and we're going to unscrew these small screws here. And you can use, I don't know, an eyeglasses screwdriver tends to be maybe a little bit too small, so this is just a small Phillips head screwdriver, but you don't want to use a big Phillips head because you'll strip out the screw and then you've got a problem because you can't close this door. This door needs to be screwed on under here is what turns on the power and it's where the SIM cards are installed. This has a dual SIM card. It doesn't take two different SIM cards. This would be if you wanted to use load balancing or data balancing. If I had five gigabytes of data available to me, to me on each card, then I would put it in both slots. But typically we're just installing one SIM card. Now, the type of SIM card you need is, a, is the whole SIM card. It's a standard SIM card. These now will nest out so they'll fit into multiple devices but we don't want to separate that because if you do what will happen is that will get stuck inside and you probably won't be able to get it out so if that happens and it pops out what you do is just lay that on a flat surface and just kind of press it down and make sure it's clicked and make sure it's see that's a little bit out right there so I'm gonna push it down it can be a little bit tricky but we're gonna click it down in there and make sure it's flat okay so now when we install the sim card we want to look at this picture it gives you a picture it shows you exactly how to insert so there's our picture and there's our sim card and when we click it in here, it kind of has a bit of a spring. So we can use our finger nail. And when I click that, it kind of springs in and out. So when I click it in, it should stay in. And if it stays, see now the spring has popped. So I can pull it back out again to kind of reset it and then put that. We want it to be in there so see how now it's not coming out this door is what turns on the power you do not oh I forgot to word of caution we, obviously we're not plugged in here we don't want to have any power and they will not they won't let you because inside there is where the power is and this little thing actually is what turns on the power or is what creates uh, uh, power flow to the device so you just screw these little screws back in. Oops. You don't drop them on the ground like I just did, but I'm holding this video camera, but you get the idea here. We're gonna screw these little guys back in. And that's about it. Once you get that in, you'll power it up and it will register the device to the SIM card that you've installed, uh, provided you've obviously got an active account. Thanks a lot, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Click below. <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right, take care.